What's going on guys? This is Raymond Iron Body McKinney. Today I want to talk about your personal narrative, the way you talk to yourself, the way you describe yourself, the, the exact ways you describe yourself. <clears throat> That's how your relative physical experiences are going to show up, are going to reveal themselves. And um, I'm going to read a little... Uh, a little bit here about a personal narrative. Your personal narrative ex um, externalizes your physical experiences. And uh, it goes like this. What's the narrative you're frequently telling yourself? How you describe your personal narrative in everyday life reveals who you are. Literally. This isn't rocket science or any trick question. When you describe your exact narrative habitually, that's what you become. Literally. Your personal, nar your personal narrative directs all your thought patterns and your thought patterns direct all your physical behaviors. Others reflect the subtle behaviors within you. Everything works together simultaneously. Coincidence, luck, only if you assume so. I can never be like that guy. And th This would be someone who may just kind of like look in life at a disempowered way and a um, disempowering uh, personal narrative and goes like this. I can never, this is an example, I can never be that guy who has it all. I can never find love. All relationships go wrong. Social media has ruined lives. No one likes me. I'm always sick. There's not enough to go around. I'm always working 168 plus hours a week. I'm exaggerating here, guys. For very little income and driving to this job two hours away on a, on a car that barely works. I'm always taking advantage of no matter, I'm always being taken advantage of, no matter how nice I am, and no matter how much grind and effort I put in. What's the point in life? These are only states, guys. They are not who you absolutely are. You are not your states. You give life to states. You're always moving through states. And you can relatively quickly change your narrative. No one has to suffer in sickness, poverty, or loneliness. Change your personal narrative like you truly mean it. Again, is this coincidence or luck? Again, only if you assume it is. When you recognize a deep wisdom of power within you, you will realize that coincidence and luck are only false assumptions. And I put an asterisk here. You don't have to go to such extremes like quit your current job. You can literally change your self-narrative by honestly talking to your Talking to the mirror every day. Supplement the, the mirror principle. Not excluding anything else, guys, but just it, in addition to. Supplement it into your current, um, your, um, your life. The mirror is always in front of you. And that mirror doesn't change until you change your self-narrative relative to you. Talk to the mirror just how you naturally talk. Don't use robotic affirmations. Robotic words themselves have no power. The intent behind the words have power. Nothing happens to you. Everything happens through you. And is being revealed back to you in the most natural ways possible. Change your inner personal narrative. Changing your inner personal narrative is the primary action to anything in life. Thought patterns and physical behaviors follow as secondary outcomes. So yeah, guys, that's simply put. Here's the thing about uh, when it comes to manifesting. When I just read that there, your personal narrative is literally the um, the key foundation when it comes to deliberate manifesting. Again, you're not attracting to anything out there because uh, uh, things like uh, when people talk about like the law of attraction, maybe stuff like the seek, like the secret film, the uh, law of attraction, the secret film. Yeah, they, I mean, they they do talk about like you think something to be in and, it, and it, it's like you think of something and it shows up. But um, they don't necessarily, sh I don't think they necessarily give you a direct description of how to do it. And uh, the personal narrative is like, how do you describe yourself as guys? How you honestly and naturally describe yourself is what manifests your relative physical experiences. Not robotic affirmations, not... The words don't manifest. It's the intent behind the words. The honest, 
genuine and and um, the honest and genuine intent behind the words that manifest. So, yeah, it goes much deeper. You know, law of attraction, law of assumption, whatever you want to call it. Change your narrative. Change your circumstances. You're in control of your reality. You're in control of your um, relative reality. No one's going to change. No one's changing you guys but yourself. Everyone relatively mirrors your personal narrative, how you describe yourself as. Pretty cool. Literally, how do you describe yourself as? Oh, I always make all this money. I've al I always make all this money. I've always been, I've always been so rich. I've always had the perfect. I've always had an ideal relationship. I've always had a. My family's always been healthy and rich and happy and healthy and uh, plenty of food and drinks. All that. My family's always had an, um, enough shelter and all these things disclaim it as if it's our as if it, as if you've already as if you've always been experienced in those moments this is kind of the, the revision that neville talks about where um <clears throat> you know he he does talk about like you go to bed and then you like if something didn't go your way uh you just imagine that scene that as if it didn't happen like if someone called you butthole or something <laughs> like a butthole or just like criticizing you. You just imagine that conversation as you're going, as you're hearing the conversation, like you just notice and you just change it to something you want to hear. Or if you go to bed and during the night and just kind of replay that unfortunate scene, change that as if nothing has ever happened once you change that. So yeah, um, you can also use revision like Again, just describe yourself as, oh, I've always been this person, as implying that throughout your life you've always been that person. And this is what's cool about, I think this is what's really interesting about personal narrative. Because, uh, yeah, how you describe yourself, that's that's literally how you're, um, that's how you behave. And people pick up on your behaviors no matter the distance. So I hope this video helps and I bless you all and happy manifesting.